Hello, and welcome to another edition of Wednesday's Words of Wisdom. Today, we're going to focus on grade levels 3, 4, and 5. Today, we're going to look at the game Diced Up Math to really focus on mastering our math facts, whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, depending on where your child falls in their mastery of these facts. To do so, you will need a Diced Up Math board game, which you will find linked into these videos, a pair of dice, which you found in your parent resource bag that you got at the beginning of the year, and you will need some bingo chips. But I don't have bingo chips, but I have paper, and I just broke it apart to use as my bingo chips. The first thing you're going to do is each player is going to have a game board, and they will have a handful of the bingo chips. To determine who's going to, who's going to go first, one player is going to roll the dice and they have their number, like I wrote a, rolled a five. The next player is going to roll their dice. They rolled a four. So I rolled a five. I'm going to be the person who goes first. So to begin, the first player rolls the dice. They are going to determine whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers that they have rolled on the dice. So I want to add those. Three plus two is five. Once I've done that, I'm going to put a bingo chip on that number of the problem. Then it's the next player's turn. They roll. They rolled six and a one. I'm going to multiply that. Six times one is six. Here's where it's going to get tricky. Say the next player rolls and they roll a four and a two. Well, if I add those, I'm going to get six, but six is already covered. So they're going to either have to subtract, multiply, or divide, depending on what numbers are left on the board. So each player is going to roll the dice, filling their board out with the answers to the problem. If the number is already covered from a previous turn, then that player does not place a bingo chip on their board, and the next player goes. So the first one to fill up their bingo board is the winner. They have to fill it up vertically and horizontally in order to win the game. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday.